In this video, I'm taking you on Aer Lingus's inaugural flight from Denver, Colorado to Dublin, Ireland. You'll see what the economy life is like from the seats to the food options. And you don't want to miss what I saw in my window mid-flight. Let's go. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, of the Maps Moments. I'm here in Denver, Colorado on a very special flight today. Aer Lingus is now making its arrival into DIA, Denver International Airport. Today, we're gonna to take that inaugural flight back to Dublin. Let's go find this check-in desk, have a look around, and we'll tell you more as we go. So back last fall, when they announced this new route on Aer Lingus, they also announced Minneapolis. So my friends and I decided to cook up the idea, let's go to Ireland and check out this inaugural flight. Now the price tag, wasn't too bad from Denver. Only $800 round trip, uh, 850 round trip, excuse me. And so we booked it, planned it, and here we are now. This will be the last time I fly out of Colorado and Denver International for a very long time because I moved to the East Coast. More about that later. Well, let's go find this check-in desk, see what time it opens, drop our bags. So where you can find the Aer Lingus ticket counter is on the east side by numbers three and four hanging from the ceiling. They're big yellow placards. Depending on your transatlantic ticket, the saver category is the only one that doesn't allow you to check a bag. Transatlantic Smart and Flex do, up to 50 pounds. The counter opened up about four hours prior to departure. So after ironing out some kinks and training all the staff on how to check people in, now we're in TSA security. Air Lingus is not tied to pre-check. So if you have clear, that's your next recommendation. Otherwise, you're going through regular security. So what better way than an inaugural flight than joining with my buddy, Kyle? Can't wait to get on the plane. It'll be the first time I've launched a route. We're going to go check out the gate, see if there's any festivities going on just yet, and then head to a lounge. Not much was going on when I took a peek at the gate. There was only the balloons and sign. But we'll come back in a little bit and then go see if there's any other kind of swag or cookies or, you know, sometimes the inaugurals have a lot of goodies they hand out. Let's see what Denver does. But there's a lounge on A, and that's the Capital One Lounge. So if you have access to that, you can go into that. Uh, $65, I think. So I'm not sure the full details on that because I don't have any kind of card. So we're going to go to the American Express Centurion on C. The timing of entering the lounge was perfect. It is crowded, but we still got in. This drink is for you, my amazing audience. Thank you for all the support. The lounge was now serving dinner. And I opted for some chicken, soup, and some veggies to tide me over until we got on the plane. The lounge today was short and sweet. Have a drink, a little food. Now I'm hurrying to the end of sea because it looks like Aer Lingus is coming in, curving on the east side of the airport to land from the south, which will be in prime position at the Sea Overlook outdoor space that Denver has. So Aer Lingus is the national airline of Ireland. It's not the biggest, that goes to Ryanair. They have, actually have a bigger product in Ireland. And to give you a little more information, the tail is the shamrock, that's their emblem, paying homage to Ireland. The airline commenced operations in May of 1936, some 88 years ago roughly. Now let's get outside and watch this plane come in. And here's a fact for you about the outdoor spaces. C faces east, A and B face west. And the perfect timing as the plane missed its landing or decided to go around on purpose. So let's take a look at Denver Air Connect at the end of C. After completing its go around, she landed on 35 right. And here she is, the 17 plus year old A330-200. Now that we saw that beautiful plane in the nice sunlight, we gotta hustle back over to A, because I'm sure I missed the festivities, but getting the beautiful shot of that taxi, that's what I wanted. So let's get over there, see what's left. And it's gonna be a little delayed boarding because of that missed approach. So we'll see if we are delayed after all. Today's flight time is roughly eight hours, 45 minutes, but that's gate to gate. It'll take us up and through central North America, close to Hudson Bay, maybe clipping Greenland, hooking down by Iceland and into Ireland. That should be the route. Ooh, time to, time to hustle. 
get to that gate. There's only so much hustle you can do when the train sucks. The trains haven't been upgraded yet, like I originally thought the AIA was gonna do back in uh, February. As I made it up to the gate level, you could hear the Irish music kicking in. The festivities also included cookies and balloons everywhere, signs, and definitely a lot of media. Here are some more angles and a close-up of this beautiful A33200. The inaugural flight speeches were about to begin amongst a lot of important people. Fast forward if you don't want to listen or watch. Denver International Airport, we are so happy to be here. I want to thank the pilot and the pilots and the crew that just landed the Aer Lingus flight. <laughs> For this uh, Aer Lingus becomes our 25th airline to operate at Den. Flights will operate uh, four days a week, Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, and Sunday. Airbus A330 aircraft. Uh, and it's great to go through customs on that end yes. and not yes. have to worry about this yeah. end. Yeah. So without further ado, let me uh, uh, invite uh, Denver Mayor Mike Johnson to speak. Uh, and to make a special presentation to Aer Lingus as well. Uh, thank you so much, Phil, and thank you for everybody who has gathered here. Uh, how many folks are in the gate who are about to board the flight to Dublin? Woo! You may not have known this, but you are about to make history. You are about to be on the first ever direct flight from Denver to Dublin. So thank you for being here to make this happen. Uh, I'm going to read this very special proclamation for this historical event that you are here for. And uh, whenever we do something very important, it requires multiple whereases. And so there will be whereases in this proclamation. Whereas, Aer Lingus now offers the first ever nonstop flights between the Mile High City and the Emerald Isle. And whereas, more than 40,000 people travel between Denver, Colorado, and Dublin, Ireland each year. And whereas Aer Lingus's new service will stimulate additional travel demand and is estimated to produce over $65 million in annual economic impact to Colorado's economy. And whereas Aer Lingus will support the creation of more than 400 jobs across the Centennial State, generating $25 million in additional wages. And whereas Colorado and Ireland enjoy robust commercial ties, including over $85 million in two-way trade and synergies in entrepreneurship, information technology, professional services, and beer. Yes, beer. And whereas Colorado is home to almost 700,000 persons of Irish descent, including me, who now have a nonstop connection to plan their next trip. Therefore, I, Mike Johnston, Mayor of the City and County of Denver, by virtue of the authority vested in me, do hereby officially proclaim May 17th, 2024, to be known as Aer Lingus Inaugural Flight Celebration Day. It is official. Would you look at that? One of my favorite countries, airline just pulled in. Check out my playlist below if you want to see anything on ice on there as well. Well done, DIA. Fun little ceremony, music, speeches, learned a lot. And it's awesome to connect Denver to Ireland, to those that love to travel. And it's not just nonstop to Dublin. Aer Lingus has a great connection network that will get you to a lot of Europe. So that, keep that in mind as well when you book your flights. As I about board this flight, this will be my final goodbye for a good while to Denver International. A lot of good memories here, worked here, but my heart is on the East Coast. Stay tuned on the channel, one day you'll see why. Love y'all, let's get on this plane. Here's one last look at the main terminal. Boarding soon began, but it was total chaos at first. They boarded from the back of the plane to the front. Good idea, but nobody knew at first. And once you go through the jetway initial door, you were handed socks and an inaugural pin. How cool. Yeah. 
<laughs> Today's flight, we would be in row 41, all the way in the back. Okay, fine. That's what I have to say. Ladies and if you're unfamiliar with air buses, typically they are 242 CV. Yep, of course. Now that I've nestled into my seat, let's see how this leg room is. Wasn't too shabby about standard for an economy seat on an international flight. The tray table, spacious, sturdy, and it extended and retracted. The safety card, typical. You're also given a mini pillow and a nice blanket. Let's have a look at the socks and pin that they handed out to us. Let's not forget about the clothes hook on the back of the seat. And you get air vents. In between the seats below you is one plug. Share it nicely. And also, there's Wi Fi in this plane, but I heard it wasn't that great. Kyle, you're nice and snug and cozy. Seats are tight, but I'm on the plane. Absolutely. Tommy. Yeah. That was my first time flyer. Excited. <laughs> you're very welcome on board this Nova flight from Denver to Dublin. First of all, I'd like to apologize for the delay to our departure. There's a couple of reasons for this. One was the aircraft was slightly delayed arriving in the previous flight from Dublin. But we're just getting you all on board now and we shortly have the final paperwork and we'll get you on, on your way. When we get airborne, the flight time will be about eight hours and five minutes. Under conditions are forecast to be generally good and the weather in Dublin should be pleasant when we arrive tomorrow. Typically, airport ops isn't out there like this, but they must be getting one last picture of this inaugural flight pushing out. Our departure would take us to the west side of the airport. After a decent taxi time, we finally made it to 3 4 left. Let's turn the burn and get out of here. After takeoff, I decided to mess with the IFE, and boy did it struggle. Definitely show any real pictures. It's a lot of guessing game when I went to look for movies, TV, anything you name it on this thing. However, it did play movies and TV. Looking at the bar menu, you definitely had to pay for your alcoholic beverages if you enjoy a drink. The flight attendants did come around to give everyone headphones. Not the greatest, but they worked for now. Plug in on the side of the seat, listen and enjoy. I found my movie to enjoy while they do drinks and serve our food. As I mentioned earlier, beer, wine, liquor, all came with a price. So I got me a beer and sparkling beverage to enjoy this inaugural flight. About an hour, a little over an hour, flight crews came around to start serving everyone dinner. And I chose the pasta. Cheese tortellini with the delicious caprese salad, warm roll and chocolate dessert. It was like a mousse. And if you're not feeling the vegetarian, here's the chicken entree my buddy chose. After they collected the trash and everything from dinner and drinks, the line for the lab got long. Well, while I waited, I shut the window shade to simulate nighttime and they turned down the lights. So it's been a great flight so far. Food service is excellent. It's time for that lab tour and then we can get some shut eye.
I would check the map one more time before laying my seat back to get some shut eye. Turned off my screen, but it wouldn't last for long. I woke up to an amazing view of the Northern Lights. Shocking it may have been because I was facing south, but this is very enhanced, but to the naked eye you could see them. I just enhanced it for my viewers. Hope you enjoy. I was able to get back to sleep for a couple hours and woke up to this purple mood lighting and soon breakfast was served. A sausage, egg and cheese and a coffee over the northern part of Ireland. With not much sleep, the coffee actually helped me. In the comments below, let me know what you think. How well do you survive on a red-eye flight? The captain came over the airwaves to let us know we are making our descent into Dublin. The seatbelt sign was coming on and cleaning up the cabin was a must. And in grand, typical Irish fashion, we landed in a gloomy morning. Now, what'd you think of that awesome Air Links experience on this inaugural flight from Denver? If you made this far, hit that thumb for me for the algorithm. Subscribe if you're not already. Please consider. Share with your friends and family and see you on the next adventure. Let's go explore.